Hi, it's Linz from Sweet Natured and today we're taking you on a guided tour of the Celebrity Apex. We're going to look at the bars, restaurants and all our favourite places. As always, I'm joined by Marky. Hello. Hello, who put the video together and this is my first time watching. So let's see what we can see. It's ship tour time. Ooh. So we're going to start off, um, not quite at the top of the ship, but pretty much there on deck 15. Okay. And in the fitness area. Lovely. You sound very enthusiastic about the fitness area. This is my first time seeing it. <laughs> <laughs> so on a 13-night cruise, you didn't quite make it into here, did you? No, but if I knew there were disco lights, I maybe would have gone. Well, in real life, there weren't disco <laughs> lights. Oh, well. that, that would just my camera adjust into it very quickly. So if you do see the occasional flicker... Uh, apologies, it does deal with it pretty well most of the time. <laughs> it's a pretty massive gym. It's huge. Like you say, you've never saw it. <laughs> no. But, you know, we, we've seen the gyms in most ships. I'm not going to claim that we've used them in most <laughs> ships. <laughs> yeah, we, we we do the weightlifting with with our arms in the bars. I wondered where you were going with that, but yes, with with glasses. <laughs> <laughs> with, with, with the glasses and the nibbles. But if you're doing it and you're loving it, all power to you. It is. And to be fair, on you know, other stuff within here as well, they ran some great fitness classes as well. Did um, they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is you not looking at what's going on on the daily activities before like 10 o'clock. I think my mind blanks it when I'm looking at the at the programme. I think your daily activity prior to 10 o'clock was find place to sit and lie in the solarium, <laughs> <laughs> get coffee, lie down. I well, use the stairs. You, you use the <laughs> stairs. <laughs> this is true, you did use the stairs. Well, before we carry on with the tour, would you like to invite the <laughs> subscribe ones? I would I would love I'd love for you to subscribe. It would be lovely and thank you if you already have done. And you can follow us along on the usual social medias as well as our sweetnature.com. And if you'd like to support the channel a little bit more, then consider joining our membership. How you get to see things that we don't show normally. You do. You are special nightcaps. Me in the gym. <laughs> That's not in our promise. No, we, we're not mis-selling the membership. There's no Lindsay in the gym. Uh, let's go on a little walk around the spa. Now, I went in the spa, as you can see here, to film this little bit, but there were people in at this yes. point. So what I've done is cut in a little bit from when we first got on the ship. Oh, and had us tour. Yeah. So you're going to see Lindsay in a second where she actually went on this ship tour with me. Oh. But it was just easier. Oh, yeah. No, I get it. I get it. Wandering around. Um, but the spa's a very nice area. It's a very expensive area. It's very expensive. Uh, if you compare it to other ships that we've been on, where do you think it sits price-wise? The top. Really? It's so pricey. Yeah. I mean, I mean in... sorry, reverse order. The bottom. <laughs> For, yeah, wherever you are. The, the area that we're in here now, this is like their sort of thermal sweet area with the steam rooms and the saunas and the um, salt wall rooms and stuff like that. To go in here for a day was $82 per person. We nearly collapsed when we got to the desk, didn't we? And she told us how much it was. And there's no hydrotherapy pool. There's not, no. I mean, it is lovely. This oh, it's lovely. Um, sauna when we went in here uh, is stunning because if you're not in the retreat class, there's nowhere on the ship um, to see out the front. no. So, in the spa is another area where you can. Yeah, well, that's but, very uh, pricey. Uh, $82 a day. I mean, people who watch our videos will know we normally go into the spa and we, we do a spa review and we, we talk about it in there. But you know, $164 for the two of us, we just couldn't justify for... We would have stayed in there maybe an hour. It's not a relaxing amount to charge. <laughs> I don't know if that's what they're going with with that. I think it's more the, the treatments that are meant to be relaxing. No, it's not a relaxing amount. But this area here... Oh, solarium. This this bit really is a relaxing area. Now, during the day, um, it's adults only. And then in the evening, it's adults only. But there is family hours, as you can see on there, from four till seven. Now, this is a port day. This is why it's so quiet. Yeah, it is. On any normal day... Sea day. Yeah, this is absolutely packed. And it's packed from... You know, we'd get in there about... On a couple of days, we got in there about 7 o'clock, quarter we, past 7 -ish. On a couple of days, we got in there at quarter past 6 because they put the hour back. They did. Well, that was on, I think, the final, one of the final sea days. Yeah. And um, we got in there and 
I was like, oh, I'll be the first one up. There'll be no one there no. at all at this point. No. We were wide awake, so we're like, let's just go up. And it was already half full. Yeah. It, unbelievable. By half past seven, you couldn't get a seat in there. No. Now, if people are just putting the towels on and leaving them, we Which, did see them. We did see them that. Off. We did. And, and then put little passive aggressive cards on them. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, if you're not going to use these, after an hour, we're going to clear it away and yeah. you need to go to guest services to collect your, your belongings. Which yeah. I think it's right because yeah. we did see it where people were putting stuff on there and then we wouldn't see them for like four hours. No, but there was like a wrong way to do it and a right way to do it. I am not endorsing this, but what happened is some people just plonked a bag on without setting the, the towels up and then left. Whereas one couple, they set out the towels, they got out the books, they made out the books were set to a certain page <laughs> and then they went away for a yeah, couple they, of Yeah, they hours. were being slightly sneakier about it. They were professional, they some were. lounger people. <laughs> but you shouldn't do that. Yeah, it, the idea is that you can leave it there while you go into the buffet or go to the restaurant, get something to eat, come back and still have We that. still did it in turns though, didn't we? Yeah, we did. We we never really left it sort of alone at any point. No, but it is a really really nice area to do. It's the temperature is lovely in there. If it gets a bit too warm, they open the windows. Yeah, uh, and it's... there seems to be a bit of a filter because we still had. You still seem to catch the sun. Yeah, it's the the roof as you probably saw when we were walking through there is not clear glass. It's like a plastic kind of inflatable deal. Yeah, um, but I was still getting. You decent, still had some colour, yeah. Bit of sort of. Some time from it. Yeah. The main pool is absolutely stunning. But cold. It wasn't heated at <laughs> all on our cruise. Now, apparently it can be heated. The staff did tell us that. Yeah. But for whatever reason, on our transatlantic cruise in November, they decided that wasn't appropriate. <laughs> uh, so it was pretty chilly. The, all of the pools use um, a salt water mix. Which they so can, there's no yeah. chlorine, but it doesn't taste like salt water. No. So, it, really nice swimming. That main pool's lovely to swim in. I don't, did you ever swim in it? I put my foot in it. Oh, you just paddled it? I just paddled, yes. Yeah, I, I had to swim in it a couple of times. It, yeah. It's really nice to go in there. Yeah. And you've got the bar down there as well. And the service, well, this doesn't apply just to the main pool. The service around the whole ship for drinks and such were fantastic. Yeah, I think, I'm trying to think what time they started serving. Was it about 10.30, 11 in the That would see the bar service. Yeah, because yeah. I, I'm sure I had a books fees a couple of mornings. Uh, or a mimosa. Oh, sorry, a mimosa. Yeah. Um, yeah, about 10, 10.30ish. We, we yeah, used to I'd have that... one in my hand. <laughs> you would. But in the solarium and the pool area, it comes from this bar. That's yes. At the side of me here. Yeah. Now, in front, and we're going to sort of come through here in a minute. Yeah. Um, we You could see the cabanas, and we'll talk about that a little bit more. When we go past them, yeah. When we get there, because I'm just going to go sort of upper deck um, first. Now, the previous one that we were on at the other side that were like this, mm -hmm. that's a dead end. It doesn't go anywhere. But no. But it overlooks the pool and the saloon. Yeah. But it were a really quiet place to hang out. Well, there's still people in their early doors, though. I there noticed. is, yeah. yeah. This side, where I'm going up now, below us, that's the smoking area. Yes, it is, yeah. So, again, tends to be quite popular in yeah. phases. Yes. But it's not busy all the way through. But if you're not a smoker, it's probably not somewhere you're going to go sit and hang out for the No. Day. Now, we're up on the top deck here. And when you um, are in port, and it's like this, it's lovely. Mm -hmm. When you're out at sea, it's quite windy. I had a bit of an incident with my little dress. Little dress. It blew right up, didn't it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's the retreat that you can see there. That that's for us. That's a case of look at what you could have won. Yeah. Uh, because we did put a bid in, but the ship was sold out. Yeah. Uh, it, it's a gorgeous area. This is the area. This is what created a kind of wind tunnel, and yeah. Now, you'll notice that I would turn and reverse there at that point. Oh, because of the walk and run arrows. Yeah. So I thought, it's probably not a great idea to no. walk with my camera against the walk. You and the would runners. have been not popular. No, the, I would have been glared at. Albeit there weren't many at this particular point here. Yeah. The amount of people that were walking and running oh, in the yes. morning were amazing, weren't it? Very good, you. Well done. It, we'd get up there and we'd be slam and you could look up. And there were dozens and dozens every morning yeah. during the laps. And it's quite a unique running track in that it goes up and down. Yeah. Well, you can see slightly at the other side. I did the stairs. 
You no, you walked on the running track. We did do a circuit of the running track. We did a circuit, yeah, yeah. We did a circuit. Yeah. Now apparently to do a mile, I think it's about four circuits, but uh, we did a walk around it to see what it was like. Yeah. But it's probably the best running walking track that I've ever seen on a ship. It's it's lovely, really. Is. The the positive thing about it is you can do a bar crawl on it now <laughs> because it takes you right round towards the. Um, Sunset bar. It, oh, does it? Yeah, because it cuts back in. Oh, yeah, it does, yeah. Um, Near the um, rooftop grill. Yes. At the far side, and, and we'll see that very, very shortly. We should make that a thing next time we do this. Uh, well, you don't have to do that many bars, because it only goes past a couple. But it's a nicer way to maybe do we, a walk around the ship. I guess maybe we do the mile and... And stop off at another drink. Well, next time we go on an edge class ship, we should do a mimosa walk. Okay, that sounds uh, lovely. We we get to the back, grab a mo- mimosa, and then carry on walking. That sounds really nice. <laughs> we should have thought about that when we were on the ship a few weeks ago. Yeah. You can also see below to the right-hand side here, there's a, another sort of private deck area. And I came past this a couple of times mm-hmm. and never saw anyone sat in it. Really? No, not once. The, the areas where we said, oh, we didn't really see people using it much, this one area I never saw. Wow. Now, again, we were on a transatlantic crossing in November, but we did have certainly the days in Spain. Yeah, it was gorgeous. Where it was sort of 25, 26 degrees. Yeah. The Caribbean, when we got to Nassau, were nearly 30. Bahamas, yes, yeah. So, you know, there were nice days, but again, if you want a quiet place to hang out... Mm-hmm. Maybe check out this area. Yeah, but there is a lot of quiet areas. Yeah. Um, on the left-hand side now, we've got the rooftop uh, garden grill, mm. which, I mean, you're saying that because on our particular cruise, it never opened. It never opened, but it let us book it. It did. We had pre-booked it. We did get a refund. It, we did it, get a refund, yeah, yeah. But it was... We but were it was dis- disappointing because we yeah. were looking forward to sort of eating in there. Cause it, from when I very first saw the Edge-class ships... Uh, before Edge was even released, the rooftop terrace that we looked at here, we were just like, oh, that looks amazing. Because it was showing musicians playing up Mm -hmm. there. And we were like, that looks an amazing place to hang out. And we never really got a chance to... We had a drink up there. Oh, no, we we had a couple of seats up there. But those the benches are not the most comfortable. No, not for hanging out for a long period of time. No. In the restaurant, it's fine. Yeah. But sitting on these ones, you probably don't want to sit on them for... Like no, get hours. Yeah, come up and get one of the sofas. But the sofa ones here. During the day up here, they held lots of competitions. Yes. So I think they had it ready for pickleball. Yeah. Which has become incredibly popular all of a sudden, pickleball. I don't know when that happened. No. But all of a sudden, last couple of cruises that we've been on, it's yeah. a pickleball tournament. They also put movies up here as well. Yes. Um, I know on one of the days we were on here, they had uh, Top Gun Maverick and... Um, Mission Impossible. Yeah, they love Tom Cruise. They did. It was a Tom Cruise day. <laughs> but very popular area to come and sit yeah. out and chill. Because you can see the movie from pretty much any of the seating that's in yes. there. Yes. But you can see it looks a gorgeous area. Mm-hmm. It's just we didn't really get a chance to use it. No. As no. much. Hopefully when we next go on an Edge class ship, um, we will get a chance. I, I don't know why they decided to close uh, the grill for our cruise. Because the cruise before... It was open. It was, yes. Uh, we've seen people who put reviews up on YouTube of that cruise immediately before ours. Yeah. So we, we can only assume that they just decided it wasn't going to be busy enough on the transatlantic. And, yeah, and close maybe a bit windy, because it did get quite windy it sometimes. Did. You can see that we're still on the running track here. Yes. So, again, when you look at normal running tracks, it's right at the top of the deck. There's nothing to look at. Um, whereas on here, it's taking you past loads of nice areas. Yeah. To, have a look at it, have a little nose here. This is a sunset bar. Yes. We liked it here. We did. We were in here. Um, we came here. I'm just trying to think what was... Oh, when we went to... When we were in Gibraltar. Yeah. And because of how Gibraltar's laid out and the airport, we were basically sat in the sunset lounge and then the pl- a plane came in and was the same the, level. We were right, inside, right outside us, weren't we? Yeah, it was great. But it's a lovely place to go hang out. Yes. Very, very popular. I mean, even when we're in a port here, you've seen how quiet the other areas are as we've been walking past. There's still people hanging out here. And it's you know, partly in the shade at this point. Yeah, I did notice that they sort of um, 
curtained it off, not curtained it off, like roped it off and then opened it up at whatever time it was and then people were waiting all ready to go in as the rope dropped. Oh, Almost I never like, noticed that. I it did. Had, it had an actual rope drop on it. It had a rope drop. Wow. I mean, I saw the rope drop for the uh, Eden Cafe. Oh, the we, curtain we, pull. The curtain pull. And the people were queuing for it, and it were about five minutes late opening when we were there that day. And people were like, why, why is it not opening And then the they curtain? cheered. <laughs> yeah, a massive cheer for uh, when the curtain gets drawn back. We'll, we'll get down to Eden yeah, yeah. eventually, and I'll, I'll sort of show you in there as well. Um, and as I say, we're, we're coming back around the opposite side and, and back towards the pool and uh, the buffet in a second. Now, I really, really like this area. Um, but Why? It just, it, it just seemed, it, there seemed quite, it, it was quite a social area. There was lots going on. We saw some pickleball in. We had a lovely drink. Oh, you're on about the whole... I thought you meant this bit of deck oh, we you were mean, walking on. Oh, yeah, this particular you, you bit mean, of deck. You mean the rear... <laughs> I'm like, why was I thinking about this bit of deck? Oh, it's got some nice pictures. <laughs> um, yeah, that back third of the yeah, ship yeah. With, with the sort of the garden and the sunset one was very popular whenever the weather was nice. Yes. Um, and you can see why. Yeah. It's a lovely area. Mm-hmm. Um, but this particular part of the deck, yeah, less special. <laughs> <laughs> If you well, oh. I mean, again, I don't ever recall seeing anyone ever laid out here. It's pretty much in the shade a lot of the time, and just to be absolutely clear, when we were going across, the captain had announced that this broke a record for an edge class ship doing a transatlantic. Yes, for the amount because of... it was over a hundred percent capacity. Yes, because they had some rooms with more than two guests, in, mm-hmm. which is how they work out the capacity levels. Yeah. Um, so I think we had 2,900 and something passengers. I can't remember. Against 2,800 capacity. Or mm-hmm. some, some figure like that. Yeah. But either way, very, very full. Um, but there weren't really any times where you saw the upper deck areas, apart from the solarium, mm-hmm. where you could never get a seat somewhere. You, yes. If there was... Um, yes. You saw lots of people, including us here, Posing for the picture with that, it's a brilliant Instagram <laughs> yeah. uh, spot there. Yeah. I saw the one on the new Celebrity Ascent the Is other it day. a squid? It's like a squiddy octopus one. I'm like, oh, that's not as nice for posing with. Plus it had really long legs and the body were up in the air. Maybe so you could like, do like a pole dancing position off it. <laughs> on the squid. <laughs> I guarantee that that will now be a thing. Yeah, so if you go on Celebrity Ascent... Put put your pictures in of your pole dancing with the giant octopus squid. Oh, dear. Uh, The cabanas. Now, before we went on, as Brits, we went, who on earth would pay the amount of money that they charge for these? It would seem quite a few people. Yeah, because you literally can walk through it. They're not private. People can sit right behind you. We can walk through here, so people book these, and anyone can still walk through it. Yeah. I, I, I still don't get it, having been on it. No. The, the lovely areas and the seating is very comfortable. I did sit in it to just try it. Um, not for any length of time. No, just no. parked my bum and got off. Yeah. Um, but on loads of the days, including oh. colder sea days, it was full, wasn't it? We were like, what the... They provided blankets. They provided they champagne. I never saw anything super fancy nibbles-wise. I just saw fruit plates and things like that. Yeah. But yeah, I was amazed the amount of people that got those. It was, it was sold out more often than not. I'm not sure how it will do when it comes to the UK. Whether sort of Brits will pay. We'll see. We'll yeah, see. Maybe, maybe if it's a special occasion or something. Maybe it's the Yorkshire part of us that when we're not <laughs> doing that. Magic carpet's brilliant. Um yes it, it it does have that dinner on the magic carpet often only once on a cruise and we couldn't do it when we were on because we were on an excursion at the point and that excursion we won't talk about here that will be for our members but... yeah, that was not a good excursion <laughs> but it is open on this deck and we're gonna you'll see in a second right next to mass grill um whenever the weather allows it which was most of the time on our cruise there was yeah. only one day when they closed it off and the weather was particularly rough that day um, so you can go into the mass grill here. Yes. Grab a burger, grab a hot dog, some chips, whatever you fancy, and then go have dinner, go have lunch. your lunch on the mass grill. Yeah, uh, so on the magic carpet. On carpet. the magic carpet, yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's a lovely place to go hang out. The bar's great in there. It was great for pulling into Nassau. It was oh, lovely. That was lovely, wasn't it? So yeah. We were, we were parking there and we were coming right at the side of um, Sym- Symphony of the, Symphony, Symphony yeah. of the Seas, Royal Caribbean. And it was lovely to do that. And then the bigger ships were coming out yeah. as well. We saw some really fancy yachts. Yeah. Um, 
but it's a lovely area to just go chill out. I get why, and it is a lot bigger than it, it looks on yeah, here on pictures. Yeah, it doesn't do it justice, no. I know other people have said that to us before. Yeah. But even still, I'm like, oh, that's really, really big. Yeah. Um, That's a gent. Yeah. <laughs> We're coming into the Ocean View Cafe. Yes. Do you want to talk about this, Lance? With the sinks or just in general? You can just talk about Jay. You can talk about the sinks if you want to talk about the sinks. Now... There's places to wash your hands. <laughs> and there's Purell. Yeah. And there's an ice cream. There is. Now, during the day, when it's ice cream, there's no charge for that. Well, there was a special ice cream that you could get charged for. Um, and then there was free ice cream. And then there was free ice creams. But, yeah, we we had that once. We didn't really hammer that, did no, we? No, but it was a nice one. We had it. Then we've got this little um, offshoot of Café Albaccio. Yeah, if you want to grab a coffee first thing in the morning, this is open from breakfast time. The staff are so lovely. They are. Um, Café Albaccio is incredibly popular. Mm-hmm. Um, well, you'll see when we get down there, even when we import those people. Mm-hmm. Um, and first thing in the morning, people are getting the coffee fix and a croissant or something else. This one up here is quiet. It is quieter. So come up there. The coffee's exactly the same. Yes. Uh, and grab it there. What did you think about the buffet? I think, and you can disagree, I think it's the best buffet choice for any cruise ship we've been on recently. Yeah, I'd probably agree. <laughs> I, I would say that it's probably the best traditional buffet mm-hmm. um, that we've ever been on a cruise ship on. It was phenomenal. The the quality of the food that's in there. As you will have seen, if you watched our videos, we'll normally go into a buffet once or twice if we're in a bit of a rush or we're going out on an excursion. But normally we'll eat in the restaurants. And um, just go here once for dinner. Yeah, just so we can say we did it. Yeah. We went in here for breakfast and uh, lunch and dinner on multiple occasions on the 13 nights. Well, I think they're actually, if you look at my nacho station here, I think the the Lindsay's Latin fl- favourites is what it's going to be renamed. <laughs> I think it is. You've got your little stamp on it making your sort of dirty nachos. Dirty, and nat- your dirty fries. Fr- dirty nachos, dirty fries. And I made them all look pretty. You and did. oh, goodness, they were so good. The cheese sauce. Oh, my goodness. It. Everything around it, it was really great quality. You've got sandwiches pre-made there, but they'd also make you one up as well. They would. They'd do it. I've just thought what we didn't do. They did like a roast beef sandwich off the carvery. Yeah. You could have put some of that cheese sauce on it oh, and made like a awesome. Philly cheese stick We need to go sandwich. back on again. Oh. But you'll see from what they've got on there, it's like beef loin, they've got roasted duck. Every day it changed. They had a roasted vegetable station. What about the king prawns? Oh, well, they had a grill. Oh. Each, each day they have like one or two real specials on. And you'll see down at the far end as to where they are. But on more than one occasion, they had the, the massive grilled prawns, which sometimes they were garlic, sometimes they were normal. They had paellas. Um, and you could literally take as many as you wanted. Well, people did. <laughs> yeah. The first time that they had the grilled prawns out, we were seeing people take like 20 or 30 of them. And yeah. It's like, okay. The next time we went, they were handing them out. Yeah to try and calm people down a bit. And then time after that, they were open again. Beef Guinness pie, I never saw you. They did, spelt wrong. Was it spelt wrong? Yeah, it's spelt Guinness wrong. Oh. But we'll let them off. Okay. At the back of the ship, mm-hmm. one, there's the place where we say this is where you need to go eat. Yes. You've covered that on your practical ship tour. Yes. Uh, and if you've not seen Lindsay's practical tips, go look at that because there's some great ones for the buffet. But it's also where the pizzeria is. Oh, the pizza was good as well. It wasn't It wasn't MSC. And I wouldn't even say it was Princess. But it was good. It's, yeah. It served a purpose I, pizza. I would put it as fourth, because I'd also put Virgin's Pizza above this as well. Oh. But it, was, it, it, was, it was a good pizza. <laughs> so in, in summary, it's maybe the fourth or fifth best pizza that Lindsay's had. I tell you what they had that was really good. What? Blue cheese sauce. They did have great blue cheese sauce. Oh, blue cheese sauce over a beetroot and lovely salad with a couple of slices of pizza. They had calzone. They did. They, they had specials on at that end piece there each day, which sometimes it would be calzone, other times it would be just a really fancy pizza. Yeah. But lovely. This is the area at the back that you cover on your... Ship tips. Ship tips. And it's also the area where the, pig, uh, the seagull got me when we were in Nassau. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid pigeon. I think I was sat it with that gentleman. A pigeon. No, it was a seagull, wasn't it? Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't like pigeons either. <laughs> but that was, that was a seagull that got me on that particular one. Uh, when when you're at sea, not a problem. Uh, but the overall I like buffet, sitting out absolutely there. fantastic. Yeah. And you've got the sort of areas where you can go get yourself a drink, coffee, etc. So if you haven't got a drinks package, the buffet is somewhere you can always get a drink 24-7. And even though if you decide to head to the back, there is a, a station, as you can see, a drink station here. So you don't have to go then all the way back through the buffet to get a drink. So no, don't worry about that. No, there's also a station like that at the Master Grill. Yes. Uh, you've got multiple places throughout the yeah. ship. Uh, so it, it's not a problem at all being able to get something. I wasn't a fan of those cordials. I quite liked them. Mm. I liked the fruit punch. They came out the way they went in. <laughs> right, we'll, we'll, we'll skip on rapidly from that one. <laughs> we're, we're down on to deck five now. And as you can see on this particular day, that was a gangway deck. Yeah. Um, the Getting on and off the ship, occasionally we use the uh, destination... Stay. What's st- it called? Destination gateway. Gateway, which is very fancy way of getting so off. So fancy. It's also where if the tendering... You go out that way as well. We didn't get to do that, did no, we? No, uh, every time we, we docked up. I would have liked to have tried yeah, it as yeah. a tender from there. Yeah. Um, normally, I'd say I'd just rather just get off a ship because it's easier. But the little boats were really fancy as well. They had cushions <sighs> and everything. Leather seats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well fancy. Um, fine cut steakhouse. Um, we This also opened for lunch on occasion. And on one day that we went there, it had its special burger menu. Yes, it did. Which I don't think I don't remember seeing it in the daily guide about it, but no, one of the sort of um, little um, podiums in yeah, the, the buffet we're, we're was telling us one yeah. They said, "Oh, are you aware that we've got this coming up?" I'm like, no. no, and there were great burgers. As they well. were great burgers. Um, but we'll we'll get into a lot more of on the food on, on the food on our full dining guide shortly. Um, which, depending when you watch this, it might be already up. Look at you. <laughs> As of right now, at the time of recording, it's not, because I'm not going it. But it could be, depending when you're watching this. Uh, Raw on Five at the other side is their sushi restaurant. We loved Raw on Five. We did. It was the very first restaurant we went to. Cause on the first night, we were going into Cosmopolitan. That's where we were booked into. Yeah, and we walked down there. And then we queued. And it was a massive queue. Wasn't it? it was the only time... Where it was a big queue for the main dining room. Because you got four main dining rooms. Cosmopolitan, First nights, uh, Cyprus, yeah. um, Tuscan, Tuscan and... Normandy. Normandy, thank you. Um, we went down there and we've said in the past, try and avoid main dining room on the first night if you can anyway. Because it's often chaos. Um, and then we ignored our own advice. <laughs> got in the queue and then went, no, let's take our own advice. And we went up here. I think how it went was we were queuing for quite a while and then I turned around. And it really moving, right? No, and I turned around to you and I said, shall we go to Roar and Five? And you said, let's go to Roar and Five. <laughs> we literally and just turned walked around. out of the queue. That, that was the end of the discussion. <laughs> um, but they have some lovely uh, cocktails in here. As fans of cocktails, yes. a shout has to go out to the uh, celebrity because every restaurant, including the main dining rooms, had unique cocktails that you could only get in those ones. Yeah, and we, we did have a go at them, didn't we? We did, because we had their uh, premium yes. drinks package. Um, so that gave us up to $17 per drink, which covered everything. Apart that, from a couple in Eden. A couple in Eden, but you would pay the difference, which, which I'm fine with that. Yeah, I, I love no doing problem. that. There were a couple of cocktails that we got that were like $20, and you pay $3. It's like... Yeah, take my extra three dollars. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, these ones in the restaurant were all in the normal price. Yes, bracket. and the sommelier helped us work through it. Yeah. And he told us whether we were going to like it or not before we took a sip of it. We did, and we were trying to get through all of them in in that box. There were only six. We were like yeah. three cocktails each. We can maybe do this in one uh, sitting. And we didn't. We got through two each in, in there because we'd had other drinks as well. And then we went to the martini bar. We did, and that, that's a different story altogether. <laughs> you, you were very rough that night, weren't you? I do not recommend oysters, and then. Working your way through the martini bar menu. No, we got halfway through the entire martini bar menu that night. I do not recommend doing that. That is not on my tips. <laughs> <laughs> the the club that we just uh, went past there, we'll come back to in a yes, second. Okay. But that's a really great place for activities and yeah, entertainment yeah. as well. The theatre um, is amazing. Yes. You know, we, we will cover this in our full cruise review. Um, because unlike a lot of ships, they actually encouraged you to film 
yeah, and, and take share pictures it. and share it and put it on social media. Because normally you get on and they go, absolutely no recording. This no. is our intellectual property. Not allowed to do it. They were like, record away, have fun. But only snippets, you know. Yeah, they, yeah they, you want you know really meant to record the entire thing and put it up. But I don't think they would have really objected to a lot of people. Mm. Uh, I, I would just snippets just but, to show. But it, it, it meant that we could show people. Yeah. Uh, in our videos, what's on. But it has that sort of semi-round yes. one. It's not a full round, so you can't get to the back of it. But the screen, which you didn't really get from there because they were showing a movie at that time, it gets used for different things during the days. Visually, when you're looking at it in the events, is absolutely amazing. It is. And Captain Nicholas came down to see everything. He did. I mean, Literally, every single show, the 7 o'clock and the 9 o'clock, he came down to support all the live entertainment and i've never seen that before on a cruise ship never and i also love captain nicholas's weather updates as well His that, he, daily did, updates that he did well it wasn't as so much daily it was sort of like every couple of when, days when it was needed once he decided which way we're going because there was a, a plan b for everything he did because the weather it's transatlantic but he was great they were fantastic wasn't they? yeah we were like okay captain nicholas is taking care of us he's he's avoiding the weather and I think it's a little bit of a, a celebrity edge class thing with the captains, because you've also got Captain Kate, yes, who's on Beyond. I think, I think. she is, yes, yeah, and she's a celebrity in her own, yes, right. and her cat, uh, and yeah, and I think that they try and get them involved a lot more with what's going on on the ship, yes, as opposed to being this little bit more aloof, yes, uh, and it's lovely. Yeah. You know, you get to see them. As a, I'm assuming that it's the same on Edge and Ascent, but I don't know because I haven't been on them and I don't know the captains. But it was really nice to see that. We're in the club here. Oh. This is upstairs. We're going to come back downstairs in a second when we get onto the deck below because it's two floors. Yeah. But in here, they run a huge amount of things like the trivia. Yeah. They've got a, a really wide range of trivia. Some traditional pen and paper, some using apps. Yeah, I would say if you're going for an early morning trivia, take a drink with you because there's no bar service for the like quarter past ten. Yeah, just grab early a coffee doors. Cafe or early doors you. or a mimosa um, <laughs> <laughs> for the early doors trivia. But that room in there, we did things like archery in there. There were game you did show. archery. You did archery. I did. We no. got to the final of the archer between the two of us. It were a team thing. And then you shot yourself in the foot, <laughs> quite literally. Uh, but it was uh, a rubber end, so it was okay. You survived it. Um, but, yeah, we did well on that. Yeah. The, but, yeah, absolutely great venue for it. Yes. We always sat downstairs, I think, apart from on one occasion where it was just too busy because we got there late. Okay, so now, now when you go through here... It plays the sound. It plays noise. We called it the ear canal. I don't think that's necessarily what they were going with with a design perspective. No, but when you go through, I would wait for it to clear before you go through and then do something like this, go, ooh, <laughs> and it resonates back at you then. It does, yeah. It just makes it a little bit more immersive <laughs> rather than just walking straight through it. I, I have to say, because uh, I've seen what it looks like on Beyond and I've seen what it looks like on some of the other ships as well. It didn't blow me away as much that. No, we called it the Ear Canal. We did call it the Ear Canal. But it's a good Instagram bit as well. There's loads of places around the ship for getting some fantastic pictures. No, no. Wave your arms about and go, woo, when you go through it, and <laughs> you, you'll experience it you more. You missed putting that on your top tips for being on there. <sighs> I'm telling you now. Yeah, so this is a, a Lindsay Tor top <laughs> tips. Blue is the restaurant that you can dine in if you are staying in Aqua Class. Yes. You have access to all of the other main dining rooms. Mm-hmm. Apart from but, the retreat. Apart from yeah. Luminaire yeah. Uh, for the retreat. But Blue constantly gets rated as the best one on the ship. I'm looking forward to trying Blue. Yeah, we're on Aqua Class um, when we go on Celebrity Eclipse. Yes. So it's not an Edge Class one. No. Um, but we're also on um, uh, another Edge Class one in the future. But again, yeah. we're not on it. No. Uh, Aqua Class on there. Even no. So I don't know why I bothered mentioning that. No. Um, Mont Blanc little shop as you walk past it the pen shop that's changed massively for uh, Ascent what was it or oh, beyond was it Mankind or yeah, something? something like that and like there's a, a little chocolate shop. shop opposite yeah Mont Blanc is pricey 
It was so interesting because we were watching a tour of Ascent, which is at the time we recorded this, it's on its maiden right now. It was Zach Travelling Man, who I've used a lot when I've been researching Apex before yeah. we went on. Um, we were watching his Ascent one because it was really interesting to see that put the world class bar back on there. Yay! We were gutted that the world class cocktail bar wasn't on this because even though we'd done his research, it hadn't. Sort of dawned on either of us that there wasn't a world class one, bar. There wasn't one, no, but it's back, and it we is, love yeah. it, and we love working through the menu. We do love that. So hopefully, next Edge class ship will be back to a world class bar. Yeah. Um, this little area outside here is the smoking area outside Eden. Yes, but there is a roof above it for the yeah so state if rooms above. If you're in the state rooms above, and there's some of the deluxe portal ones above this, like we had, we were on yeah. the other side. Um, and people a little bit concerned that the smoke could go up. I don't think it's a huge problem. You can no. see you've got a solid roof at this end and it's a canopy there. And we never, we walked through this a couple of times and never... You, the thing we could smell most on it was cigars. Now, we don't smoke, but for some reason, the smoke of, smell of cigars... We love it. We love it. <laughs> <laughs> Neither of us have ever smoked, but the smell of a cigar... I, I don't know is, what's wrong with us. No, maybe we'd need to try a cigar. I don't think so. They tried to sell us some in NASA, though. <laughs> I, I'm not utterly convinced that they were legit. Uh, oh, that, you think that, that was cold cigars? Yeah, I do. Uh, yeah, <laughs> okay, that, that was that's just another street top walkers. tip. <laughs> street walkers? Street sellers. <laughs> they were just walking past, going, want to buy a cigar? I was like, no. This has taken a turn. <laughs> yes, yeah. Eden. Oh, God. <laughs> so, downstairs, Eden's on three levels. Mm -hmm. So, you've got the area where we entered there, which is the main bar area. It's also where the... Uh, Eden Cafe is. Yes. Downstairs is the restaurant. Mm -hmm. And then upstairs, another seating area, but it's where a lot of people hang out during the day. Yeah. It's a quiet area. Go read a book. Look out over the back. Yeah. Fantastic. Eden Cafe is absolutely amazing. Loved it. We did uh, love sorry, uh, Eden, Eden restaurant. restaurant. Eden Restaurant. We sat, we sat e somewhere there. We sat there. We sat we there. And you've got a, a show kitchen, so you can watch them preparing it. Love a show kitchen. Oh, I do. The, the food in there was absolutely fantastic. Oh, the risotto. Yeah, the risotto were absolutely delicious. I mean, it was almost so creamy you could use it as a beauty product. <laughs> I'm not necessarily sure that they're selling that in the spa at the moment. Maybe that would have convinced you to get a spa package. <laughs> <laughs> the risotto treatment. You know what? We're giving them ideas now. We are. We'll see when, when their next ship comes out, there'll be the risotto <laughs> treatment in the spa. We want a free one if that's the okay. case. <laughs> Um, but yeah, absolutely lovely in there. Yes. Um, we, we It's not cheap. No. But we would honestly highly recommend it. It feels a real treat though. It did. It felt like a proper date night one, didn't it? It yeah. felt like we were going to a really fancy restaurant in London or somewhere else in the UK that, you know, a, a higher Michelin star one. In York or Leeds or something really nice. Yeah. Upstairs here is where they have the entertainment in an evening. Yeah. So you've got space for, obviously, there's a piano there, but you've got a DJ's mixing desk there. Mm -hmm. You've got the Eden performances, which are very Cirque du Soleil style. Yes. Uh, often with a theme around a story. Yeah. Um, but the, there's pretty much in an evening always music on in there. Yes. No matter what time you go on. It, it's so fantastic to see so much live music going on around the ship. Yeah. Because you could walk for maybe a minute and you'd come into another area where there were live music on. Yes, you would, yeah. Which just, were great for an evening. We sat here one evening, didn't we, early doors, but... We didn't sit up here much. No. Uh, cause normally when we got in, um, we'd sit downstairs because we were there a little bit earlier. Or we'd yeah. be there a little bit later and there'd be space. Yeah. Um, when it's the shows... It's a little bit different. Well, they, we saw them stacking the chairs, didn't we, for the show? Yeah. These are all live plants as well. Yeah, they're lovely. Lovely. It's, which you would expect when... It's called Eden. Yeah. <laughs> it would be a bit rubbish if it were them sort of in there. There is a lift to get up and down yeah, within for, here as well. Yeah, for accessibility, yeah, yes. Yeah, abs absolutely. And this is the area at the back here where you'll find during the day, one, it's very quiet, mm -hmm. but two, it's where people just come in and... Uh, maybe they might be doing a little bit of work in here, but more often than not, you could see that they were just sat there with a good book. Oh, oh there was people set up mini casinos with the cards. and <laughs> I'm sure that they were not playing for money. No, I'm sure they weren't, but they, there was a lot of card tables. <laughs> I mean, we saw that throughout the ship. Yeah, we did. In, including like the martini bar, people had just set up in there. And just be during the day the before the... Yeah, with the... Not, in, not at night. No, no. Um, but during the day, people really sort of utilised it a lot. Yeah. 
And you can see how big the space is in here. Yeah, it was uh, gorgeous. Incredibly well utilised. And there, someone just chilling in one of the little hanging areas. Yeah. I liked the swings, though. They don't have a lot of swing. No, I mean, on the intro, you could see you. Yeah. Where you go to swing back and it immediately locks. Well, no, it didn't. I hit the wall. You did hit? No, it wasn't the wall, was it? Yeah, I hit the wall. I thought it was just where it were. No, no, wedged. I went into the wall. Oh, you don't want to do that. That's a poor dude. On the right here, that's the curtain. Oh, the curtain. I'm going through the curtain now. Because you said I could do. Um, so this is the Eden Cafe. Yes. Which is only open for breakfast and... Lunch. Lunch um, on sea days. Yeah, now what's interesting is they don't do hors d'oeuvres from there in an evening. No. Which is what I would have done, I would have liked. And serve some bits out there when you sat in Eden. You mean like in Commodore or chat room on Q now? Yes. Yeah, it'd be nice if they did that. Yeah. Um, it, or the it, dock house on Virgin. Yeah. It's a popular area there for the Eden Cafe, but not compared to the buffet. No. So whilst you get the queue for the curtain open. Yeah. Um, a lot of the sandwiches are made to order. Mm -hmm. So you get there and then they give you a little buzzer and you go sit back down and do that. But there's not a lot of tables in there. No, there's not. And people sort of pull together tables from chairs from the other areas to sort of spread out a bit. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Going down to where the restaurants are now. Mm -hmm. Well, the first lot of restaurants. Main dining main rooms. Dining rooms. Yeah. So, as I mentioned earlier, four main dining rooms on here. You can go to any of them. Yes. We were on Anytime Dining. Uh-huh. Which, when you got to the restaurants, there were uh, two arrows, which said traditional dining and anytime. Yeah. If you're traditional dining and you were there for that time, you queued up and went straight in. Yeah. If you're on any time, you, wait. You, you queued up on the left. Yeah. Apart from the one that we've already mentioned, uh, Cosmopolitan, on the first day... I don't think we queued for more than a minute. I don't think we queued long, no. It's, we'd get in and be like, do you want a sharing table? Do you want it just for the two of you? It's like, yeah, just the two of us. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Um, and we were sat down incredibly quickly. I think we were, yeah. I'm just trying to think. No, I don't remember queuing for long for anyone, really. No. And pretty much without sort of... I'm just trying to think as I'm saying that. I think the service on every one of them on every night was great. Yes. It, it was never a rushed affair. No. It was just like, come in. It's not like, oh, we want you out by 8 no. if you're on any time because next lot are coming in. No. Um, and there were times where we'd come out around the next sitting area. Yes. And we could see them waiting to come in. But again, wasn't a problem at all. No. I mean, there was a couple of nights as well where we came out and we decided we would go get a dessert cocktail rather than having a dessert. Yeah, because we, we figured... That they were available in. Um, <laughs> which were the venue where we had them? Out Cafe Albaccio. Oh, yeah. They had those really nice. And they'd have the little cakes to go with it as well. They did. Yeah, so a top tip. <laughs> um, yeah, the, the dessert cocktails in there were delicious. Oh, they were phenomenal. Which were your favourite in there? Oh, we're doing this now? Yeah, you can do that. It was the salted caramel one with the cream on top and the salted caramel oh, sauce. Oh, good, wasn't it? Yeah, yours was the... Uh, the Reviver. The McCallum Reviver. Yeah, yeah. that one might want a specific dessert one because you no. could get that at any point. No. Um, but it was delicious. Yeah. It wasn't an after dinner drink specifically. No. no. Uh, the casino, as you can see at the point that I'm walking through, which is why I can film, it was it's closed. closed. Yeah. Um, but it's a massive casino. And it was very busy. Yeah, pretty much every evening that we walked past, uh, around sort of 10 ish. Yes. Early, early doors, it was less busy. Yeah. Um, but. It were absolutely rammed. It was so busy. Now, they also on the ship do deal or no deal. They yeah. Do, they do two things where you can buy cards Tickets. to win. Tickets. So they have a traditional yeah. bingo, yeah. which you'll have seen on hundreds of cruises, and then they have deal or no deal, where you buy the cards at the back of the casino here. So when I sort of turn left in a second, that little desk there right in front, that's where you buy your deal or no deal card. When they open them, the queues were often the full length of the casino. I didn't see that. Well, I went to get it. Yeah. Uh, it's so busy. Um, because one person gets picked out at random to play on the actual stage. Cash machine. Yeah. Uh, actual ATM on the ship. Yeah. Very few ships have them. Yeah. 
I mean, it's useful to do because you go, oh, I forgot we need to leave a tip. Yeah. Uh, back to deal or no deal. Mm-hmm. One person plays the actual show, but everyone else plays on their cards. And we did win. We did win. Well, not a lot. I only won you, $65, but it, it cost me less than that to It's play. not a proper $65, so it's $65 for the casino. No, it's not. I We just put it in the casino. Did we really? Yeah, Is yeah, that it gets did? assigned to your account. Oh. Oh. Was, yeah, absolutely. Uh, but we then went into the casino... Uh, and said, oh, we'll, we'll spend a little bit of it. And we doubled it. Now. And then we cashed out. We we were, we were didn't go when we were dressed up thinking we were... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, James Bond. Thinking we were James Bond. We went and we sort of... We tried to... It wasn't busy and we it was a lunchtime and we tried to figure it out. Yeah. Which we did all right. Oh, the jewellery shops. Oh my God, how busy were these? They were so busy. They had like an event or an auction Every single or, night. or a raffle every night. And the, there was one necklace that I l- love. Well, you'd seen it on another ship. I saw it previously. on Queen Elizabeth straight after everything um, opened up again. And I think it was $5,000 on yes. that. We were never going to buy it. No. It was just lovely. How much was it on here? $18,000. Now, either jewellery's gone up massively I think the, it might like have done. 18 months since we went on Queen Elizabeth, or their prices are a little bit higher. But they had auctions on here where you can put in like a minimum bid. I was sat, we were sat sort of just having a drink, and the lady came, she was sat with her family, and she said she was most upset that she'd bid $5,200 for a diamond ring and hadn't won it. Yeah. I, I, I had to have another drink because <laughs> I was like. <laughs> Cafe Albaccio. Love Cafe Albaccio. It is an absolute favourite hangout for anyone who goes on a celebrity cruise. Which do you prefer, Cafe Albaccio to sit and people watch or Martini Bar? Cafe Albaccio. Yeah. Even in an evening. Yeah. You can see more. It's just an awesome spot. Um, especially as soon as I realised that they sold cocktails. <laughs> yeah, we were sold. I, I mean, to be fair, one of our sort of members on our Facebook group has been telling us for years that they, they do great cocktails in there but we'd kind of forgot about it but they did a secret cocktail that we kept forgetting to have it's called a chocolate igloo yeah so when you go on try please try the chocolate igloo and tell us what it's like because i think i know what it looks like with a bubble thing but please tell us yeah we we meant to try that we did every time and then i'd go to my salted caramel and you'd go to your mckellen reviver yeah we worked through most of them. We did. Shore Excursions is uh, open more when you're about to come into port. <laughs> and when there's no ports for five days, it's open less. Um, future Cruise. Yes, we went here. We did. We did book one. And um, we will come back to that at some point in the future. <laughs> um, and really, really easy to do it. Yeah. It, again, we, we booked on there and then transferred it to our travel agents. Yes. Um, in fact... They, they said, do you want it transferred to them? Because we'd booked the previous, this, the cruise that were on via them. Yeah. So it was very easy to do. Yes. So we got all the benefits and still get our travel agent to look after it for us. Yeah. Which, fantastic. Um, the shops here, on a very regular basis, now I don't know if it's just because it was coming over on a transatlantic and it was the end of one season to another, but I'd, I mean, genuine clearance sales on. We've been on it where they have like little sort of, <laughs> I was going to say tat sales, but I do mean that. Where where they sign off the stuff that just nobody wants. But they were signing stuff off on there at like 80 90% discount on like, all the hats and on hats and, and hoodies and um, like a, a windbreaker, like, like, a, like and a stuff rack. that you never see them putting in Reduce, the sales. Yeah. I uh, wonder if cause they're having a bit of a rebrand or something. Cause well, I don't know. I don't know if it's that we were sort of at the end of one season yeah. from one side of the Atlantic to the other one. You can yeah. the Caribbean. Um, I don't know. The area that we were just in there, that's uh, called Connect, and it's one of the meeting rooms. They also put films on during there. Okay. Um, during the day, as well as things like the choir practice. Yeah. It's hosted in there. They do crafts in there. Yeah. So it's quite a big Deck 4, there's a lot going it. on, isn't there? Yeah. Deck 5, 4, 3 are your main entertainment decks inside. Yeah. And then, obviously... Deck 14. 14 and 15 are the main ones yeah. upstairs. Uh, and you can see other side of the meeting place. Yeah. To where we're coming in at the Connect. I don't go in here because there is actually something going on mm-hmm. uh, within it, so I don't want to interrupt No, 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 that's right. Um, and then 
Oh, where back to the club. Now? Back so to the club. That area there is when you go into the club, so I was showing it for context as to how to get in. They also use the club as an excursion meeting point as well as the theatre. Yeah, sometimes they do. Yeah. On one of our excursions, we had to come here. Yes. Uh, on the other one, we were in we the theatre. The yeah. So it just depends. It, obviously, if they're putting people in here for the excursion ones, it gets busy because it's not as big as the theatre. But we really enjoyed it in the club. We did really enjoy it. Really enjoy it. And they, they do put on a lot of different stuff in there. There was an Eden show in there. Yeah. Uh, called Caravan, mm-hmm. which really reminded me of um, Virgin. Virgin, yeah. And in, in our full cruise review, when we're looking at the entertainment, there, there'll be you know, clips of that within there. And it were really enjoyable performance. Mm-hmm. It, it were nice to see them sort of going down that path. Yeah. Uh, and now walking back down towards the uh, sort of main atrium and the martini bar. Yes. They call it the Grand Plaza. That's what they call it, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, I think so. The Grand Plaza. I think you might be right. I think so. I just used to refer to, let's say, to Martini Bar. <laughs> we do everything in bars. It, well, it was either Café El Bacio or Martini Bar. Yeah. It's like, from there, uh, you know where to go. Yeah. It's actually a very easy ship to navigate. It is, yes. You know, it, you haven't got mm-hmm. the complexities of something like Queen Mary 2. No. Um, it, it's designed to better get around very, very easily. Yes. Yeah. Um, far side of here, where we're heading to now, is the Grand Bistro. Yeah, I, yeah. Which, during the daytime... Those tables there, they were used... They were mini casinos and people reading books and enjoying a coffee. They were. And during the, during the daytime, it's the Grand Bistro and it's open for lunch. Check out the specials. Yeah, cause each day, seven days a week, it has different specials on. Mm-hmm. And then in the evening, it looks completely different in here because they close it off. It doesn't normally have those... Um, blocks at the left hand side there with the shutters uh, because this is the Le Petit Chef Le Petit Chef which they project down onto the tables and you'll better see this in our dining review um, of a little chef doing his little animation and then they bring out the food to match it yeah I, I we'll get into that at some point some people love it some people are like meh um, <laughs> it, it's that, that includes the two of us Um but it's a, a nice area. Yeah, it's nice. It, it feels very different in there in the evening yes. when it's got the shutters on. Yeah. Because otherwise it, it's open to everyone. Yeah. Craft social. Oh, we went in here a couple of times, but mainly to get water. Yeah, because it was an easy spot to grab some to take back up to the room. But it also does food in there as well. Yeah. But you do pay extra for it. Yes. But if there was any sort of game on, be it an American sport, a European, British sport... This place were round. It was, it was. Um, and they did put, I mean, you can see cricket on there, but we, we saw baseball, we, we saw American football, we saw... Uh, soccer, soccer, football. Soccer, yeah. football. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but we, there was always stuff on in there, wasn't yeah. there? Yeah. Um, you can see, and then back into the casino, uh, around that side as well. Mm-hmm. You had your little globe. I loved this globe. It was very glitzy. <laughs> I don't think we ever got your picture with it, No, did we? no, no. I think we kept saying we should do. Then down to the martini bar, which is on three mini levels. So you've got the actual martini bar level just below us, which is where there's a dance floor. Yeah. And I've seen dance floors like this on other cruise ships and they practically never get used. Oh, my God, this we used constantly. People love to dance. Love to dance. And there was some um, lovely all sorts of dancing going on. There were, yeah. It's... There, there were some phenomenal dancers. Yeah. You know, much Ooh, the more chandelier. who you linked to being on, like, in the Queen's room. Yes. In yeah, I totally agree. Um, Practising that yeah, and didn't go quite fun. <laughs> um, and uh, I give him another chance. <laughs> uh, and he absolutely nails it. <laughs> Does he let like someone... Oh, yes. Well done. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> he was happy with his second attempt. <laughs> The, the martini bar staff were brilliant, weren't they? They were lovely, so lovely. The, the multiple shows in an evening with the chandelier and the martini bar. And it was open on embarkation as well, when we got on. Oh, yeah, so it were, did that, where we have our first drink there? Yes. <laughs> and I think our second drink there. Our second drink. Yeah, we ended up being there a lot longer than we planned on being, because <laughs> we were waiting for the room to open up, and we had about an hour and a half to and kill. I, I had, we had bags, and we were like, oh... 
we could hang out here for a bit. And we'd had a big breakfast. Yeah, so we did. <laughs> uh, guest services. Uh, guest relations. Yes. Uh, fine. Only I've had to come down here a couple of times for a couple of little things. We we have to check about the rooftop garden grill as to whether it would yeah. be open or not. And they arranged for the refund in there. And we checked when we got on whether there were any payable upgrades Which um, there for the rooms. And that's why they told us no, it's completely sold out of the ship. Uh, so I think that were the only two times yeah. that I went. Yeah, everything we were else. in and out there yeah. in no time. The app that they've got is actually really, really good to the point where I could check everything and not really ever needed to go down there. No. Um, some apps that you get on some cruise lines are not that great. No. This one just worked constantly. We, we didn't we never have any, had an issue with No, it. we didn't. Um, and therefore, didn't really need to go to guest services. And mm-hmm. um, Nice little walk down to the restaurant. Some which, more art. Which restaurants are So you've now? got the other two restaurants at the bottom of here, which is Tuscan... And uh, Normandy, Normandy, yes. Um, Normandy, I think, ended up being our favourite of the four. I think, it? It, I mean, I think it might have been, yes, because even when we were in um, Tusk, not Tuscan, the other restaurant, one evening, they had things brought out of one restaurant and brought into this restaurant. They'd not really, for us. Not for us. No, but, but for we the did table see other people. Year. Yeah. Uh, which I want a way you could do with no. appears that you can do. Yeah. Um, you just ask your waiter. So if you've got a favourite dish that you're like, oh, I would really fancy that, but they don't serve it, Yeah. speak to your waiter. Yeah. By all accounts, they will bring it down for you. Yeah. That's it. We can't say we experienced that personally, but we saw no. it. No, no. Um, all of the restaurants have got their own sort of unique style in it. Yeah. And we thought, oh, it's just like a superficial yeah. sort of gloss. But all four restaurants feel very different. They do, and it, they had a lovely, ap- different atmosphere every restaurant. They did, yeah. The ambience in each one were, were very, very different. Yes. Um, I'd say Normandy, um, I think, was the favourite of our four. We'll have to, I can't remember. I but, think you might be right. And th- that just felt sort of really elegant. How and does Normandy, was that the one? I know which dish was the thing. So I when we do the When we do this food review, review, it'll remind you. Yes. Uh, but it had also won an award for having decent wine. Oh, nice. Which We saw surprised. very pricey wine on the menu, though, didn't we? There were a bottle of wine for over £100,000. Dollars. Dollars, yeah. Uh, but there were lots of them in the sort of four to $10,000, not just one or two. Oof. We, we didn't buy one of them. No. They weren't included on the drinks package, surprisingly. No, no. Uh, but, as you'll see, lovely Restaurant, the, the furniture's different in each one, the yeah. layouts. The music, the lighting. Yeah. It, they're just really, really lovely. They don't feel like main dining rooms. No. It felt much more like Virgin's take on their main dining rooms of everything being open. But more on a, a different variance of the wake rather than... Their, yeah. Yeah, there wasn't... Yeah. No, you didn't get things like uh, the Korean barbecue and oh, stuff no, like that. Oh, no, no, no. But I was meaning that... It, it didn't feel like a main no, dining I room totally as agree. such. No, you, know, you, you think of P&O, the Britannia and Cunard and so on. It it really didn't feel in that It felt more same intimate. Way. Yeah, intimate is probably a really good sort of turn of phrase for it. Well, Thank, thanks. And um, we're coming up towards the end of it now. Oh, goodness. I know, that's 58 and a half minutes. Wow. That's absolutely flown by. Well. But it's been lovely to look around the ship again. Yeah, well, thank you, darling. You're very welcome. Thank you for watching, and um, I hope it helps. Yeah, and especially with Apex being based out of the UK for a couple of years now, I'm sure yeah. a lot of people from the UK are going to get on it. But it's all also overseas yeah. in the off-season. Well, cheers again. Have a lovely day. Have a lovely day. <laughs> <laughs>